What's good? What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the show, man. Recap with Mo, where we're getting ready to get into another episode discussion of Tyler Perry's at Team, all right? But before we get into this thing, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss shit and it that's going down right here, all right? So let's talk about it. Let, uh, let, uh, where should I start? Let's start um, with Sister Angela for this discussion, right? Um... Sister Angela, I feel, is a very beautiful woman, very confident woman. She knows who she is. She knows what she wants, but she also knows what she doesn't want. And one individual who she has been on this platform stating she doesn't want is Brother Rice. All right. And I just feel honestly, regardless of what his lifestyle is, what his sexual orientation is. You know what I'm saying? Whether or not I agree with it or not, or I get down with it or not, I respect his wishes. If that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. But when you sit up here and say it with your chest that you don't want no type of relationship with this man, you don't even want to be friends with this man, but at one time you said that you did. So I'm looking at Angela like, are you for real? Or were you for play play? And what I mean about that is you still have feelings for him because if you did not have feelings for him, you would have never said anything to Zach about treating him right. And due to the fact that you approached Zach to tell him that, that shows that you still have feelings for Bryce. But for you to sit up here and play like you don't, that's where I find fault within you, Angela, all right? Because when you stood there 10 toes down and you told Bryce you didn't want to see him, you didn't want to be around him, and you told that man at one point or another that you still wanted to be friends with him, and then all of a sudden you changed your mind, you could tell from his disposition that he was hurt. He honestly was hurt, but he understood that his lifestyle wasn't the lifestyle that you were getting down with. And he gets it. And he's moved on. Even though he still has feelings for you, his life ain't stopping because you didn't want to get down with it. He's just going to find people who are down with the things that he likes. And you're going to start feeling some type of way about it. Let's deal with it. So he comes to the office. Fatima sees him talking to one of the young ladies in her office. Now, the recap or the review for that episode is dropping um, later on tonight, all right? But I wanted to go ahead and put this out because it, it irked me so because Angela is rushing to get up out of, you know, that situation with Fatima so she can go see what's going down with Bryce outside talking to the new chick. Now, I find it funny that you now want to be introduced to this young lady, but you just stated that you pretty much know everybody on this floor, right? So you already know who she is. So why do I need to introduce you? Or are you saying you want him to introduce you as quote, 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 you see what I'm saying? Or my ex-girlfriend or my ex-lover. What were you looking for in this situation, Angela? Because remember, we have no relationship. You didn't want any of that. What could he call you at this point? Could he call you a friend? No, because you didn't want to be friends. You didn't want to be significant others or partners or anything. Bed buddies, nothing. So what could he call you? And then if he called you his ex-girlfriend, would you have, would you would you have been embarrassed? of that situation. And quite honestly, I believe that Bryce handled this situation well. You see what I'm saying? Because he wasn't disrespectful to you, nor to this, this nice young lady standing over here on the side that he met on an app. So then you confront him and ask him, does she know what you're down with? And he was like, yeah, there's apps for people like us. And she was like, oh, really? Yeah, Angela, there are apps out there for people like that that want to get down like that. You know, as a matter of fact, in Nashville recently, well, I don't know if it's recently, 
It was some months back. I had seen a flyer where they were having this swing party. Now, that ain't my cup of tea. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, you get down how you get down, right? But for me, hell to the no, I ain't going to no swing party because I that's, that's not for me. You see what I'm saying? But for other people, they like to be involved in, in those types of situations. And Bryce, a man that you just so happen to like and love, is involved in those types of situations. You see what I'm saying? And that's why it's so very important to communicate while you're dating. To know what people like, what they dislike, what they what their fantasies are. So you don't get caught up in no whirlwind thinking that you got this going on when it's really this going on. And you're like, hold on, wait a minute. When you start doing this and he's like or she's like, I've been doing this. And there's never no surprises because everything was out in the forefront. And I'm going to leave it at that, man. I thought that this piece right here was very important because it says a lot about communication. Being honest with people from the get-go, not hiding who you are. And I'm saying that as a heterosexual male, like when I go in, when I'm talking to a lady, she knows what I want. Like if I want to get down with you, and this was pre-marriage, of course. <laughs> like if I want to get down with you, if I wanted to get down with you, I was going to tell you, hey, we good. Like if I'm seeing somebody else, I'm going to tell you like I was seeing somebody else. Now, if you're not down with that, then you're not down with it. But at the same time, if I'm with you, I'm with you. But if you out here in these streets and you know you're going to continuously be in these streets, then you need to let the person that you're getting down with that you still in these streets and let them come to the conclusion what they want to do if they want to be involved in this or not. And quite honestly, from what I'm looking at now in, in our world right now, shit, they, they might be down with it. You know what I'm saying? To each his own. Anyhow, man, thank y'all for checking out this little um, this little uh, rant that I had right here, man. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Leave some comments down below. Um, I'll see y'all soon. Episode number 18 is dropping later on tonight. I was not able to edit it and get it ready in time um, to drop right with this one. Also, um, all the Queens man will be dropping um, tonight as well. Got to get caught up on that. Damn it. And then we have another episode of um, Caught Up with um, um, my girl. I want to call her Deja, but that ain't her name on the show. Her name is Jazzy on the show. So if you have yet to check out my recaps on those episodes right there on her series over there, please check that out as well, man. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.